What's up, YouTube? Listen, <laughs> y'all, I feel so vindicated, y'all, because the truth about everything came out yesterday, y'all. Like, I don't understand how a person really thought that they, they was going to speak on my name. And I was not going to find out. <laughs> when in reality, me and the person that you was talking to me about became hella cool. Now, there was times that I asked you, you know, about, you know, I want to meet this other person. I want to meet this other person. I wonder who this other person is about. Because according to you, this person was someone that you claimed that you were attracted to and they were attracted to you. However, I talked to this person and this person said that their feelings were never mutual. So for you to be that pressed to paint this false narrative that someone was into you is hella crazy to me. Now, I get that we all want to be loved that we all want to be with someone. But when you have to go to that extent and lie about it, that's crazy. Then, on top of that, according to this timeline, that me and this person, that me and that alleged person that was into you talked about, you really tried to talk to us at the same time. Where did, did you think that anything was going to go? Did you not think that you was going to get caught up? Also, another question. You say that... You know... You wanted to get back on your grind. You wanted to, you know, make a change with me. But you sit there and play this game like it's all pieces of the cream. But when I tell you, hey, you know, if the only time we can talk is after 11, 12 o'clock, at night, that's not going to work for me. Not once did I say that the relationship was going to work. Not once did I say that. What I said was, I'm no longer answering my phone late at night. I'm not the type of person. If we're together, why can't I only get in contact with you late at night? Or, when someone comes in the room, oh, I gotta call you right back. That's some suspicious behavior going on. There have never been a time where I was around my family and somebody called me that I had to, yeah, I'm gonna call you right back. I am 35 years old. I don't have to do stuff like that. I'm grown. Even if I'm around my family, I answer the phone like normal. I don't have to, oh, let me call you a rat. Like, like, what is it? Like, your peoples know we dated before. So, what are you hiding? And then, you told this other person one day, 
Oh, um, he was asleep. Mm -mm. You never called to find out. But the other person that you was trying to get, try to get with, I was on that person's live, chopping it up. It's so funny, y'all, how God works. Because you try to keep me and that person that I asked you many times, like, yo, let me meet him. This was even before we got together. I'm like, yo, let me meet him. He seemed cool, especially how you was talking about him. But you kept saying, no, no, no. Um, I was telling what you said. You was trying to keep us apart so the truth wouldn't come out. But thank God for you running your mouth, speaking my name. And thank God for that person being a real one and calling me and telling me everything. So now that friendship that you never wanted that friendship is now there. Me and that person are cool. Um, also, you will be seeing us do business together. Because one thing about it is, God makes things happen for a reason. God will expose things for a reason. In this situation, you got exposed. Am I angry with you? No. But at the same time, I just want you to grow up. Be an adult. Stop gossiping. Because you're going to be in this situation every time. When I chose to get back with you I get back with you because I care about you I wanted to see you win but you didn't want that for yourself and it's okay I, I get it but you have a good day bye